Welcome, people of the internet. This is Geek Rating Review, where we talk about everything geek culture and geek related. My name is Jean Marc, and I talk. My name's Nick. We talk about food, too. I was born in London, Mark, because I'm his little brother, David. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a spooky episode. So, whoever, th- whoever thinks they have the scariest topic should go first. Not me. Not me neither. I think I want to go last, actually. Because I feel like I don't want to get my topic stolen by... Uh, uh, I David. only have one topic. Well, yeah, but what if I had the same idea? I have a small goof topic for this episode in case we need one. We're definitely I had, doing it. I did, too. I, uh, uh, let's do it. It's, it's a Halloween special. We can do as many topics <laughs> as we want. And so, Mark, that music you picked for the intro was spooky. I know. So you scary. nailed that it's head scary. on the hand. Oh, man. It was like, it was it was like Pinhead from those, those Pinhead movies I don't remember the name of currently. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Conehead? Yeah, Conehead. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> It's exactly it. And, uh, and get hey, away. You were first. first, Nick. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, goof topic first or, or topic topic? No, we end with goofs. Okay. Yeah. Unless you think it'd be I'm scarier just, to I'm, start with. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to go for it. What is the scariest movie of all time? I've given this, this a lot of thought. I've given this a lot of thought. I think one of the best, and I keep going back to it because it's so creepy and well done. No, 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 no. Scariest, not best. Scariest, your mind. Best. Then, well, that's easy. It's the different. movie that has literally scared me the most in my entire life is The Exorcist. That, that one scared me more than anything. I was afraid to get possessed. I'm afraid of little girls. I was, I was, I was so because my mom. Let me do the story. Our mom thought we're Catholic and stuff. And believe it or not, The Exorcist is approved by the Catholic Church as like a movie you can watch if you go yeah. on the registry because it like shows you the truth behind possession, even though it's Hollywood eyes or whatever. So my mom decided to sit all the kids down and watch a TV recording on a VHS tape of The Exorcist with us around her. I was so scared. I don't know for what amount of time. It was like a month. I couldn't pee without the door being open or use the bathroom without the door being open. I couldn't be in a room by myself or I was afraid the devil was going to get me, especially at night. And that lasted a long, long time. And then when I got older, I bought the movie, the director's cut. So it's like, I'm not going to let this scare me. And it scared me even more as an adult. That's what I wanted to know. Is the director's cut approved by the Catholic Church? Because that one is way worse. Well, that one is way worse. But, yeah, I think so. There's like a website. I forgot what it was. But you go go to like this... um, Website for Catholic approved movies, <laughs> and it'll show it, tell you if they are or aren't. I think Brokeback's on there actually. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I, bought, I bought it for a second. Oh, yeah. I, I can see that, man. Like, I love that movie's great. It um, is great. Like, I didn't appreciate like the, the direction the of, it. of it. Yeah, I didn't dir- appreciate the acting or direction until I was older. But when I was younger, I just saw Demon Girl running at me and turning yeah. her head around and it, loading. It didn't scare me because I watched it too recently because of how much y'all were scared by it. I thought it was going to scar me for the rest of my life. So I didn't watch it until I was much older, and it didn't scare me so much. Dude. So, David, what is the scariest movie of all time? That's, yeah. It sucks because now I'm thinking about what movie scared me the most rather than what's objectively the scariest. That's the question. I mean, because mine's different right. from, from Jamar. Mm-hmm. The, the one I'm going with, I just started college, and I was surrounded by a group of people, and I still left the movie, like, not like disturbed by it and, like, didn't want to be alone. And hmm, it was the first Paranormal Activity movie. 
I don't know why but that movie scared the living heck out of me. I could, I was so paranoid at everything I heard. Just like Jamal was like, "Oh, a pair watch out and get possessed." There's Toby is gonna get me. Not that he was Toby at the time, but I, I was so paranoid. I like there's literally like ten other people watching this movie, but the whole time I was just like, "We don't leave." <laughs> yeah, I was probably oh, go ahead. nineteen. I was nineteen when the movie came out, but still. Yeah, no. I, I, I'm much more comfortable with it now, but when I first saw it, it yeah, yeah I, was, I was scared to go to bed at night sometimes. I, I'm not a fan. Me and our wife watched it, and she she ruined the experience whenever the girl gets dragged out of the bed, mm-hmm. and she just busts it out laughing. I'm like, okay, this, <laughs> this, movie's, a, this movie's a joke now. Yeah. Because I know some people do that with The Exorcist, too. Um, they'll laugh at it because, you know, for whatever reason. Yeah, it's, it's a good way to, to subvert horror is to laugh at it. Yeah. Um, and um, I I think, yeah, I didn't feel scared again like I was with The Exorcist until I watched Paranormal Activity the first time. Um, my brother, Paul, actually told me a story where he watched Paranormal Activity in theaters, and there was some kind of, like, white thug outside, <laughs> just, like, staring in the space all scared, and he's like, F this movie! And he, like, walked away. <laughs> like, trying to act like he wasn't scared of it. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Nick, what's your pick? High Tension. Uh, French horror film. It's kind of a slasher, kind of a psychological thing. I'm not going to spoil the ending or anything. Oh. But... There's there's something so claustrophobic about that movie that it's it's kind of a lone survivor tale, kind of a uh, things aren't always what they seem. Is, um, it's 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 gory, it's yeah. French, it's it's nice. That's but not there's a, just, uh, is that a there's cave scenes movie? in that movie that are brutal, but it's not the gore and the blood and guts that make it scary. It's it's in the title, it's tension. And, and that's something that that movie does better than any any movie I've ever seen. Close to second is a movie called Inside. I think that was it's a French movie that was remade recently. But don't watch any remake of it. Watch the French oh. version. Is it like the video game Inside? No, oh. <laughs> no. That's it's about pregnancy and, and scissors. Mm. Is high tension yeah. about like a cave or something? No. Okay. No, it's it's about, um, the quiet cottage in the French countryside that's things go down. Things get bad. But things aren't always what they seem, so. Yeah. I, I can't give anything away. If I was you, I wouldn't even look at the cover of the movie before you watch it. Just Oh, good. Just watch I might watch yeah. that. Um, I Just a quick aside, have y'all seen the preview for the movie Terrifier? With the white clown? No. Y'all need to oh. just... Yeah, on Netflix or whatever. Yeah, just look at pictures of it. It looks it's supposed to be like the new, like, scarier than it or something. But yeah, just, just I'm watching that this Halloween season at some point. Uh, um, I'm hoping to I'm hoping to start the Haunting of Hill House and Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. And stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They both look really good. Yeah. All right, David, what's yours? Before I get in, were you thinking of the movie The Descent, Jamont, with the cage? Yes, that is what I was thinking. I that really enjoyed really that movie. Good. Yeah, it's a very good movie. But really not The it. Cave. That movie is terrible. No, I've never right. I don't think I've seen that one. They're different. Very different. All right, my oh, topic. I'll have an honorable oh. mention with yeah. uh, the movie Wreck, the Spanish horror film. It was re- remade in America as Quarantine. No. Hmm. It's a found footage movie. Oh, it's a found footage movie? Heck yeah. So I'm I'm writing down all all the stuff you tell me. (laughs) Um, R-E-C, that movie is... Oh, Rec, Record! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a really good movie. Yeah, I thought you meant W-E-R-K. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, No, Rec is great. I watched uh, the whole trilogy. The third one has... um, uh, uh, What's his face? From The Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that guy. Samwise Gamgee is in, like, the third one. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Even though, unless I'm mistaking it with... Are you thinking of Quarantine, the remix? Maybe? Because there is, is Wreck Quarantine. 
Yeah, no, the quarantines, they speak English. Rec, they speak Spanish. No, because and there's Rec, there's Rec 2, there's Rec uh, something, and then there's Rec Quarantine. Oh, see, I'm, like, there's no... Like, I quarantine, it's, ra it's rabies. Yeah. And Rec, it's... Mad. Not rabies. <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember <laughs> that, that Wizards. I, w I forgot. I think it was on Shudder or Amazon where they had all of the Wreck movies. <laughs> and I, we just watched them all in order. So, mm. so but no, I don't think we've ever seen Quarantine. Quarantine's good. It's just not... It's Americanized. Was Wreck the one where they go into the house? Or that yeah, the apartment? The oh, man. Yeah, that's some good moments in there. They're yeah. really good. Uh, I, I highly suggest David watch it because I went through a bunch of I like found footage actually. I come me to too. That. I think uh, Paranormal Activity got me into it. Yeah, <laughs> David, what's your topic? Uh, this one you might need a sec just to think about uh, because I will too. The most intense moment you've experienced in a horror game. I don't. I don't need to think about that, and it's not in a horror game. Okay. The the first Halo when you're escaping in the warthog. Mm -hmm. the, like the very last mission. If mm -hmm. you're doing that co-op with a friend, that is some intense, intense gameplay that is like mm -hmm. uh me and my stepbrother when Halo first came out, me and my stepbrother played it. To completion, like in one sitting. From the beginning of Halo to the end of Halo, and by the wow. end, in that, that last run, when you're in the Warthog and everything's exploding and there's flood and there's everything else, that we were both standing up in front of the TV like, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. So that's that's easy for me. Mine is definitely in Silent Hill 2. Mm. It's either or Silent Hill Origins on the PSP. Or whatever that one was called. Silent Hill yeah, Origins, Origins scared me so much, the opening of it. And I was alone in my room with my PSP over my head while lying down. Um, <laughs> it freaked me out so much I couldn't finish it. And I put it down and walked away. So just the opening of the game and being afraid something was going to jump out at me scared me. But I think Silent Hill 2, when you're in a bathroom and Pyramid Head comes out, and you're like, oh man, if he finds me, I'm dead, basically. Uh, was probably one of my scarier moments. I'm sure there's something else, but that's what's sticking out right now. That really freaked me out. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 was probably one of the first things that popped in my head when I thought of this topic. Yeah. Because there's so many moments in that game that just freaked me out. I just was like, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Because that game isn't just like... Oh, I'm gonna die, and then I get to try it again. You're just you're genuinely terrified of being killed because he's a normal guy. Not a lot of these games, like even Resident Evil Four, you're like, oh no, I'm this intense BA who can go around killing a bunch of monsters. It's not Hill Two. You're just like a dude. Yeah, you're easily killed. Just so we're clear, uh, you have an associate in business administration. You're your BA. Resident oh Evil yeah. 4. Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. he's a... A regular business administrator. <laughs> regular well, that, well, that's... Wait, four is Leon. You're thinking of five, where you're Chris. Chris? No, uh, I was Chris. thinking four. No, four, because Leon well, well, Chris, killed a whole village Leon's full of people. A, Leon's not really a... But he can kill them pretty easily. He's yeah. a trained bodyguard of the president's daughter. I don't know. But Chris but, has... Uh, Chris has guns. I, I do love Chris. He's he probably punches, I, he I like Chris better because I'm so bolder over. I meant more than that. When you're playing as Leon, you can kill pretty much anything and not be overly yeah. horrified by what's going on. But there were so many solid, scary moments in that game. I'm trying to distinct because between intensely scary, but just like scary, scary. Silent Hill Two has definitely got more scary, scary. But intensely scary is actually that opening sequence in Resident Evil 4. The first time you go into the village, like in that open area. Especially if you go grab the shotgun and then do it, the chainsaw comes out. That, to me, was one of the most intense. Just seeing that you, you just had to run around hoping someone didn't kill you the whole time. 
even if you held up in a house, they, they had like three different ways of getting in there. And once they were in there, you're pretty much screwed unless you knew what you were doing. Yeah. Hmm. So that whole think, opening sequence. Of that, like, like Left 4 Dead captures that that surrounded feeling mm-hmm. pretty good. Yeah. Where the, the horse just come and you hear the, like, what is it, the witch? And you hear that scream. Oh, that freaking witch. Yeah. Left 4 Dead does that pretty good too. Yeah. I would shoot him just for fun sometimes. <laughs> just to scare everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> She's tearing my lungs out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that had some uh, intense moments. I don't know if they were scary. Like, yeah, I don't, like big games don't really scare. I don't know. I don't have. They're not effective in like the way they're supposed to be. I think um, like Alien Isolation is a scary game. Mm. I didn't get very far in it, but mm. I can see the appeal. The first time I played Dead Space was at three a.m. Mm. That scared me. Yeah. <laughs> I was fire. exhausted. Yeah. Just the opening where they're singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in that creepy way. Like, I didn't want to play the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're like, no, I'm okay. And the first time you see the, what are they called? Like the necro something? Necromorphs. 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 Well, mine feels pretty basic, my topic. Um, it's kind of like Nyx, but basically... What's your favorite movie monster? The yeah, horror movie monster. I don't know. It includes, easy. you know, easy, 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 easy. Freddy. I know what Nix is. I think. Do you? Yeah, I do. I don't think you do. Yeah, I, I think I know who it is. I don't know the name of the person, but I think I know what movie he's from because I watched the okay. movie. What? I don't remember the name of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. I don't What is it, Nick? <laughs> uh, I, I'll go with the thing. <laughs> every oh. every creature aspect of the thing. Oh. How that monster works. How those effects play out. Just, oh. If I had to have a favorite movie monster, it's oh. every monster part of the thing. Well, John Carpenter's. Well, it could have been any... It could be like... Freddy or Jason or yeah. you know I like Freddy, yeah. but I'm I'm a zombie movie fan mm. more than anything. I have it tattooed on my arm. Yeah, um, but if I had to pick like a movie monster, every every effect in the thing kind of takes it away. Hmm. Okay, David, mine would be specifically the It clown, not. The later iterations, for those who haven't seen the movie, no, what the original 90s one ending was, just the Tim Curry It Clown. And I think I mentioned that before, or in the future, depending on when this podcast comes out. But <laughs> just the way... <laughs> <laughs> the way he, like, manipulates and, like, I don't know, like, just a psychological, like, he just messes with everyone, like, with their kids or their adults, like, he just, he's so good at getting them, and it's so, I don't know, I just love it. I get get it, I love it. Yeah. Because it's... We we do. David, just shut up. Just shut up right now. (laughs) (laughs) It. Um, It rules. It rules. It's really good. Not the new hit. He wasn't that scary to me. Um, it's still I, a good movie, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very good movie. I would have to go with... and I'm, This is another thing I've been debating, because originally it was between Jason Voorhees and Mike Myers, The Shape, and the zombie, but if I had to think of it, like, realistically, what would scare me the most as a monster coming at me would probably be the Xenomorph from Aliens in Alien, mainly because they have acid blood, (laughs) and you can't just shoot them, or acid will hit you and you will die, 
And even if there's just one of them, they could wreck uh, like an entire area. You don't even need a queen there to lay eggs. Or even if it started as a face hugger, that would also, face huggers are pretty terrifying. But xenomorphs themselves, they, you know, you can shoot them to death apparently. But like I said, there's acid, there's, they're quick, they're kind of wild animals kind of. And, you know, they have a lot of ways to kill you. And they can be quiet. Too. And, oh yeah, they can be very quiet. I think that like the the most terrifying iteration of that um, of that creature is probably Alien Three. Even though a lot of people hate that movie, I love that movie. Um, but that, I like the beginning of the Alien Three. The Alien in Alien Three is like a silent stalker mm -hmm. killer. Um, I, I, yeah, I think that's my favorite version of that. Because mm. in the sequel in Aliens, they're just kind of dumb, horde. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah uh, target practice. Yeah, the second one. But Alien Three kind of went back to the the original version of it, where it's a it lurks in the shadows. It's a silent stalker type predator, if you want to put that word on it. Yeah. What were you gonna say is mine? Um, I Ready? thought you were gonna say the guy from that movie you made me watch that I didn't like as much as you. Uh, the collector. I thought you were gonna say the collector. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that guy's great. <laughs> He's great. David needs to watch it. We need an impartial person because I didn't find it. Eh, I didn't find it, him. All what that. is this? It's a low. It's a low budget horror film called The Collector. Um, that's better than John Mark's making it out. Mm. <laughs> What's it? Is it on streaming? Probably. I for, yeah, I forgot where I saw it at, but it was somewhere. Ooh. And there's a I, sequel. There's a sequel called The Collection that has a bigger budget that's not as good, but kind of ties up the story. I saw somewhere, I know this is random, but I heard good things about the movie Pumpkinhead. Oh, me too. Yeah, no, that movie's good. I've never seen it. I've heard good things. Okay, I've been, I've been wanting to watch it because I've heard about it many times. Oh, yeah, it's, it's really it's, good. It's late eighties, late eighties, early nineties, cheesy greatness. Oh, great, and like the, the animatronics and puppetry in that movie are great. The mm -hmm. monster, the monster makeup is great. Hmm. You want to watch it? I do. I want to watch it now too. What were y'all goof topics, David? Well, you know he's sure. his, his usually trumped all, so I'll go first. Um, what food do you associate with Halloween? Oh, mine's so similar, like not candy, but food. Uh, and I'll, just, I'll say mine outright because just to make you think, because when I was a kid, my my grandparents lived in a pretty nice neighborhood in, in in Crowley with a bunch of old people, you know, the whole neighborhood is old people. So all the people would go in that neighborhood. But before we would go trick or treat, my grandmother would make us chili dogs. <laughs> we had just nasty, greasy chili dogs before we go trick or treat. Huh. So I've like ever since I was a kid, I associate Halloween with chili dogs. Huh. And I, I try to make a pot of chili, buy some Franks, buy some buns, so I can have chili dogs around Halloween. That's awesome. Franks is your brand. I Boris. <laughs> Not the pink ones. Good, good ballpark. <laughs> Red ones. No. I like to experiment with hot dogs. That's not what this topic is about. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, you like to experiment oh, with hot dogs? I put them in each hole and just see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> like in the toilet or something? Yeah, that's it. Nostrils, nostrils. That's it, yeah. Oh, see okay. which one can fit in there. Uh, you have a big nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Depends on the hot dog, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Those bun legs are thin. Yeah, that's right. Mm. They do it with a ballpark. They plump when you cook them. That's true. Man. Um, our parents didn't cook anything special for Halloween. No, they didn't. The only well, thing... That's, man, if that's something special, then man. I mean... I was living in the lap of luxury. I mean, I, get, I mean, the only thing I can think of is like fried chicken, maybe? <laughs> like Popeye's? <laughs> David's saying no, but I don't I know. have no memory of that, but you probably remember better than I do. We stopped doing trick-or-treating stuff when I was about 10, so... Hmm. And you are the youngest, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the youngest. So. Okay. Yeah, I guess nothing 
is our answer. <laughs> hey, well, no, not my answer. I have one thing. Is it Esther Elementary? Every year for Halloween, they would have these cookie sales where they would sell pumpkins and ghosts and spider webs and all these little shaped cookies. And I always wanted one, and one year I finally got one. And I, it wasn't like the best cookie. I just was glad I had one. So I just think of those <laughs> Halloween cookies, and I like them. Oh, I got one now. Thanks, David, for reminding me. You're all. Pumpkin spice latte! It's not a food. Well, I don't like pumpkin spice. I like pumpkin pie. I like pumpkin. Yes, thank you. I like pumpkin pie lattes, not spice. Remember when I had a pumpkin spice latte at your house and I almost died? I don't remember that. What are you talking about? I kept about? coughing. I was like coughing my lungs up and then like could not stop coughing because I had this one chunk of pumpkin spice. That wasn't mixed in with the rest of the latte, <laughs> and I just could not. I was like crying and That's like, like a I, challenge. Yeah, basically. Mm. <laughs> I was like, I need my inhaler. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And my throat hurt for like three hours after that. Oh. <laughs> and I don't That's think terrible. I've had a pumpkin spice since. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I completely forgot what? about that. Like two, a, a year or two ago at this point? Probably one? Because you were here last when? year, right? Right? No, I wasn't. I was here last year. Because I Leah lived oh, here. Oh, that's year. right. I was working at Storage Mart at the time. No longer. Never worked there unless you went. Never mind. That's a whole other topic. Um, <laughs> we have so many topics. So many. Halloween episode. So many. Where do hot dogs go? I don't know. They go in all the holes. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> all right. 30 minutes. All right. And 11. Are you ready for my topic now? Yeah. You sound so excited. I'm glad you're so excited. I'm very excited, David. You I'm, I'm so excited, it. it's scary. Because <laughs> Halloween. Uh, is it food related? I'm sure it's food related. It is food related. That's yeah. all our news topics are food related. Um, well, mine's kind of a, a, if it doesn't apply, then there's a different answer you can give. Your worst Halloween candy experience and or least favorite Halloween candy. I have, I have a worst Halloween candy experience, but it doesn't really have to do with Halloween. So. Okay, that's fine. Well, I was at some kind of carnival thing. It was, it was around Halloween, I think, time. It wasn't Rice Festival. It was a Rice Festival, because it was in okay. Esterwood, Louisiana. And I kept winning this coin toss. Like, you get, like, a, a dart, and you throw it at this wall, and there's a bunch of balloons there. And I kept popping them, and I kept getting a piece of candy, and then I would also steal some from the person who was guarding the thing, because they weren't looking. And I ate so much candy... And my parents even told me, because they left and were, I was going to walk home to not eat too much, but I ate so much candy that I ran over to the side of the building and threw up. <laughs> and was sick for like two days after that. Oh, man. So eating too much candy actually makes you sick, apparently. <laughs> Just like the way bread makes you fat. Yeah, apparently. Um, <laughs> I don't have anything so visceral. Um, the worst Halloween candy is those just those black and brown, a black and orange wrapped mm -hmm. is it caramel or peanut butter mystery the candy. Kind of thing. They're huge. I love yeah. those things actually. Those things are nasty. I and love they them make, so much. They make all the candy around, all the candy they touch taste like that. Oh, yeah, or smell like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that are touching it, you got to throw those away. Um, but, uh, yeah, don't, those, are, those are gross. Favorite Halloween candy is Reese's Mini Cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is a good one. Oh, or, man. Like, well, now, the now they're doing the Reese's. Yeah, they're doing Reese's pumpkins. They're yeah. so freaking good because they're Reese's eggs. It's basically, yeah, they're Reese's eggs. Mm. So, yeah. Just so like the... the 
Christmas tree ones. Like, they don't even have a Christmas tree for them. They're just like an egg with a stem at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Hi. <laughs> you got to They say hi to each other. Uh, my least favorite Halloween candy, because I can't think of a particular experience that was bad, was probably just candy corn. Hate candy corn. Oh man, I like candy. I hate, it. Tastes I like really plastic. Don't like candy corn. The first time I had one, I put it in my mouth. I immediately spit it out and went through it all the way. I was like, well, oh. there's some that are there's some that's a little more waxy than others because like that out that outside layer is hard noodle wax. But if you find some that that are like I don't know, they, they almost look like they have that powder on them. Those are the really good ones. It doesn't have as, as much wax on. Them. But yeah, like the wax on. really turned me off. Go, go ahead, David. What? Go you ahead. Saying, no, no. Get no, I said go, go. Uh, no, you do it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, well, me and my wife have that complaint a lot. <laughs> Communication. Um, I was going to say Black Lake Parish is my least yes. favorite. Uh, yes. Uh, Absolutely. Any That's licorice, disgusting. actually. That's not candy. It's not even food. They put it in jelly beans. Yeah, it just I don't like ruins candy. All the jelly beans. Well, Actually, some good ones. The black and the white ones are terrible, but all the rest are pretty good. And Twizzlers is just like plastic candy. Yeah, I, I used to like Twizzlers, Twizzlers, and then now that I'm older, I don't know why I ever like Twizzlers. <sighs> I thought at first when those like those sour ropes, yeah, came out, I thought those were Twizzlers. No, nah, man, those are those are candy. Those are good. So I ate the sour ropes, and I was like, oh, Twizzlers are just big sour ropes. So I bought Twizzlers and ate that, and I'm like, this is nasty. I was very disappointed. Twizzlers don't have flavor. I, I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They're gross. It, licorice is gross. Licorice ain't candy. That ain't food. Who made it and why? I don't understand. It's like it's like solid Jägermeister. It's probably made in the Great Depression. Um, <laughs> it, old tires. It's what they turned the Black Death into. Um, into candy form. <laughs> to torture young kids. <laughs> and it makes your teeth black, too. So it just looks oh, like I forgot about that. Eating something unworldly. Now, That's not candy. I just remembered that when I used to eat candy corn, I would only nibble on the tip. <laughs> not joking, either. I wouldn't eat because there's a color change. And the very tip is a different color than the rest of it. And so I would only nibble on the tip and take the tip off of everyone on my candy corn. You'll never make a man happy. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, man. Oh. I had once a Butterfinger ice cream bar. And I couldn't finish it because we had to leave. So I put it in the freezer and went back the next day to eat it. I put it in my mouth and it tasted where I pulled it out and it was green. And I threw up immediately because I was so disgusted. That's probably my worst candy or sweet food experience. I was really worried I'd get pretty sick. I don't know if that happened. Dad. Food experience. Mm. You have an ironclad stomach, then. I, I definitely do. Speaking um, of hot dogs, <laughs> 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 I was waiting for Zach Broussard to pick me up to bring me to his house. I was next to the Albertsons. That's where that new mesh is open now. Where STM is, you know that that Albertsons right there. Oh man, that was my yeah. Albertsons. Fifty cent hot dogs. Well, yeah, there was a gas station in front of there. Yeah, and Albertsons I, Express. And, I used to live right around there. And there was hot dogs there. They were fifty cents. And I had very little money, but I was like, "This, I'm gonna do it. I'm Jean Marc. I don't throw up. I never get sick. I got this." So I called Zach. This is before I had any phone. I called him on a pay phone in front of the Albertsons because his mom actually lived down the road somewhere from there. And so I went in. I was like, hey, two hot dogs. Ate them. And not even two minutes later, I threw up in the trash can outside. <laughs> and I'm throwing up. And right when I look up from throwing up, Zach drove up. It's like, hey, man, what's up? It's like, dude, I just threw up two hot dogs. 
It's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Let's go swimming or whatever. Or play tennis. I don't know what we did. I guess the eating thing doesn't imply if you throw all the food out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I, I, I used to actually eat those hot dogs. How? I don't know. You go, you walk, you walk in with three bucks, you walk out with uh, two hot dogs and a drink and wow. change. Mm. You know? Mm. And you're a broke ass college student. Yeah. yeah. You can put anything in. You can, you can eat anything when you're that uh, when you're that broke. Well, I guess. Yep. <laughs> I guess I my all, all the time. I guess my stomach has standards. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, I ate ramen through most of college. I ate ramen and checkers and checkers, and absolutely. Checkers. I can't. I couldn't eat their fries after a certain point because they were too greasy and then they would make me sick. Now that grease lubricates them down. Mm-hmm. That's how they get through your body. I hit that point with checkers fries. Like if you get a large one too many times. You just can't oh, finish that's it. Large. That's like that's a, that's like a thousand French fries. I know. Small at the most is what I can do. Yeah, large drinks are like 60 ounces. They're huge. Yeah. For small drinks, are huge. Yeah. That's why if you get a small vanilla shake over there, it's a lot more than you get it pretty much anywhere else for a small. Man, why don't we just start a food podcast? Because that's what we always evolve <laughs> into talking about. <laughs> Every podcast we talk about food, I think. <laughs> I'm going to have to re-listen to what we've done Fast so Fast food in particular. Yeah. <laughs> let's, have a, let's have a segment of, hey, Nick, what you cooking? Because yeah. I got potato seed going on in the kitchen right now. So what do you have I'm now? I'm sweaty right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I'm just, I don't know, my shirt's like coated in sweat, and I'm sitting in the air-conditioned room. I'm just really confused. You must be so know. nervous for some reason. I know. This Halloween makes me so nervous. Talking about checker fries got you sweat. Mm. Probably. <laughs> Checkers had like the best dollar menu though, I think, because they had more oh, variety. They had, they had Cheddar Fest dollar menu that, and they where they just put cheese and Again, Cheddar Fest. Bacon it on mm. everything. Loved it. Legendary Cheddar Fest. Mm. Okay. Uh are y'all you have anything else to say before we go, I guess? Uh, yeah. Halloween is the greatest holiday. Don't let the spooks get you. Oh, quick, quick, uh, quick topic. What's your favorite costume you ever had? Mine's easy. Mine was a Bart Simpson mask, and I just wore my regular clothes with it. <laughs> <laughs> you just said eat my shorts and you walked around. Nope, I just ran around and got candy because that's all I cared about. <laughs> it doesn't have to be when you were a kid. Still that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine was actually a, a uh, black. Uh, no, the black. It was a red Power Ranger. I was dressed up as a red Power Ranger one year. I thought I was the coolest freaking person ever. And it's funny because you're so young that there's still red Power Rangers running around following. Wow, uh, mine was the original, yeah. the cool one, the, co- <laughs> the good one. Yeah, the cool thank Ranger. you, Jamal. I mean, you couldn't even uh, be the Green Ranger. Cool. What a loser! Yeah. When I was when I was a kid, I had a B A Dark Vader costume. Oh, that was just a like a trash bag cape, a shirt that had the little square with the lights on it, and oh, one wow. of those thin plastic paper cut masks. But it was great. Was yours? Oh, go ahead. When I was an adult, I. I made a Bat Dad costume from South Park. Anybody oh. familiar with the Bat Dad episode of South Park? Bat Dad? Bat Dad. The Little League episode. Wow, oh. I just watched every episode like recently and I don't remember that. The, the, the Little League episode, you, you look it up. The Bat Dad. Uh, Stan's dad gets in, fi- in a fight oh, with the Bat Dad. Oh, yes! I remember it's just, now. It's just an a overweight dad with a purple yes. cape and a Batman hat. <laughs> black shorts. <laughs> And that was my costume. I went no shirt, purple cape. I was 27 years old. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, it's on my Instagram. Um, mm. hey, it's from a long time ago, but that's my favorite costume I ever had. Man, <laughs> you can, you know, you can I drink and say part of your character. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. 
Man, I'd have went with Randy Marsh with my, my pants around my ankles and tidy whities <laughs> <laughs> This is America! <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Way to save that for next year, Nick. Never mind. I guess we'll do it this year. That, that's that's a good topic. We have we have a year to come up with a next jump. Okay. Well, happy happy Halloween, everybody. Woohoo! My uh, birthday, ghosts. My my daughter's going as a Pokemon trainer. Sweet. Got, that's cool. She's got a hat. He's going to have a Pokemon candy bag. He's got a Pikachu backpack. Are you extremely proud of your daughter for that? Because I, I would be. She comes up with, like, we we try not to get her to pick stuff from the store. Like, no Anna, yeah. no Elsa, no yeah. Juan, and none of that stuff. She wants to pick something that not necessarily everybody will know who she is, but she knows, and she thinks it's cool, and she knows it's cool. And I'm really proud of her for that. Yeah. Last year she was Marceline from Adventure Time. Awesome. Wow. I made her I made her the the base axe. The year before that she was a zombie or something. Like a zombie ballerina. And oh, wow. before that she was Pan from Dragon Ball G T. Oh wow. And I made her a little Giru. She had a Dragon Ball. She had I just I, I want I go all out with her. So is she gonna have like Pokeball stuff around her, or hold the Pokeballs? Pokeballs? So I'm wondering how many parents will actually call her a Pokemon when they see yeah. her, because they I <laughs> think sure. they know what a Pokeball is, maybe. Yeah. So they might I'm just sure. call her a Pokemon, just not knowing what she is. Probably. So. Well, um, so, so there's, there's parents that probably dabbled in Pokemon Go. So. Oh, that's For right. Sure. <laughs> You're a Pokemon goer. Good job. She's a Good job. You're getting all the Pokemans. Okay, so what are we doing? Is that is it the end? Yeah, <laughs> bye everybody. Happy Halloween. <laughs> don't eat, don't trust strangers because they will murder you and your parents. But we did it, We did our best. I don't remember what I say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Catchphrase at the end. I guess we'll have to listen to it on the 19th. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess, yeah, the 19th. I'm cutting that part out. Bye.